Hi everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, I talk about all cruelty-free products, so my channel is definitely the place to be if you're interested in cruelty-free beauty. You can also check out my Instagram, Logical Harmony, and my website, logicalharmony.net, for tons more resources and information on cruelty-free. Now in today's video, I'm sharing my recent skincare empties with you guys. So these are like the face cleaners, moisturizers, serums, some supplements, some toners, just tons of different skincare that I have used up semi-recently. And I think it's always fun to share this with you and give a recap of what I thought of the products, um, if I'll continue using them or not, and just hear your guys' thoughts on them too and hear what you've loved recently. I hope you enjoy this video. First things first, I do wanna say, as I pick this up, um, a lot of these products were sent to me in PR and some were bought by me. It's just kind of a big mix of things, but I still like to share all of my thoughts with you guys, no matter what. Um, this is a old Pixie Glow Tonic. Every year around the holidays, they send out a huge, gigantic sized one, and it takes me at least a year to use it. Like, Usually the next one shows up and I still haven't run out of this one, but they've kept me in stock of Glow Tonic for a few years, which is amazing because it is a very, very good product. I really, really love it. Um, I used to buy it before they started sending it to me, so I love having that extra stock and I kind of hoard it because it's it's really good. So it's 5% glycolic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant and it's really good to help like with reduce like fine lines and things like that. Everyone's skin is going to be react a little bit different to chemical exfoliants. So if you guys are new to them, I would check out this one as a good starter option. Um, for education on them, Paula's Choice is a great resource and so is Caroline Hirons. I know everyone suggests her. Um, but they're really good resources for learning about how to incorporate these into your skincare routine. This was the first one that I ever incorporated because it is the most gentle in my experience and like the most like multitasking one. Um, I do have ones from Paula's Choice that I love. I have ones from Ule Henriksen that I love, but this will always be a staple in my routine. Um, from Heritage Store, this is their Rose Petals Rose Water. This stuff is so nice on the skin. So I really, really love rose water because it's very gentle, it's very nourishing, and it's super duper natural. So it's really easy on your skin. And as, as someone with dry skin, when my skin gets irritated, I like to go as gentle as I can with products. This stuff and the Lush toners are amazing for my skin when they're dry. I highly suggest them just to spray on your face throughout the day, spray on your face when you're not wearing makeup. I use them to set makeup. They do actually make one with glycerin in it that a lot of people use to set their makeup. And I think that's, that's great. I still need to try it. Um, and they sent me a package recently, so I do have another one of these, but I've been buying this for years. Like whenever I run out, I pick up another because it's just such a good staple to have on hand. And I use it too on my body. Like if my skin's feeling really dry or irritated, I will hop out of the shower and spray this on my body before I apply a lotion. And I find that just helps to soothe my skin a little bit more and just like lock the moisture in a little better too. From Hum, these, this is their daily cleanse supplements. Now I wanted to mention this specifically because it really does help with my skin. Um, I don't have problems with like blemishes or acne or anything like that. Like I get blemishes here and there, but I find that overall my skin is just more balanced when I'm taking these as well as gut instinct, they're probiotic. Um, and I do have a $10 off referral code that I'll put down below that you guys can use. So when you're a Hum customer, which I've been for years, you get like your own referral code you can share with your friends and family. So I'll put mine down below if you guys wanna check it out. But I love their supplements, they have so many that are vegan friendly and they make it really easy to figure out which ones they are. Um, we have done sponsored content with them before. I'll link to those videos down below where I talk about like the supplements that I take and I still love Hum supplements. I take them, Justin takes them. They're very, very solid. And I think that if you are new to Hum, this is a great, great place to start. I think this and Gut Instinct are some of my favorites from them. I also really like Wingman. Um, Wingman is great as well but obviously you're gonna wanna figure out what you need and if you are on any prescription medications, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor before you take any supplements. I'm not gonna give you medical advice and tell you to take this, but I enjoy it. From Ursa Major, this is their Golden Hour Recovery Cream and this stuff is so good. I really, really loved this. Um, I think I do have another one that I haven't cracked open just yet. I'm trying to not open as much skincare as, at a time so I can really like use things up and get through them a little quicker um, and really then 
just use more product and be less wasteful, to be completely honest. Um, and I found that I was opening up so many different things and trying so many things and a lot of stuff was going bad. So I'm trying to not do that as much this year. This stuff was so good. Rianne had suggested this and talked about it a lot on her skin and how it helped soothe her skin. And they sent me one and I love it. I think that this is kind of similar to the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I feel like it's a little more natural. Um, it's a little gentler on the skin. And so if you're looking for that, if your skin is more sensitive or you're more like sensitive about ingredients, this could be a good option to check out. But I loved it. It really, really helps to soothe my skin when it's dry or irritated. And I thought it was just such a good, solid, heavy duty moisturizer that didn't feel greasy. It didn't feel heavy. It just, it worked so well on my skin. I love it. Another that I really loved was the Great Barrier Relief Cream from Crave Beauty. This stuff is technically a serum, but it's in like a moisturizer lotion-y form, and it is such a good barrier cream. So I liked to apply this as like kind of one of the last steps, like when I would apply a, ser a serum. So I'll do my moisturizer first and then apply this and it locks in the moisture. I love this. I don't have another one but I, I want one. I want another one so badly. Um, I really, really like the skincare from Crave Beauty. I feel like it's very gentle on the skin and it's products that everyone kind of needs in their routine. I feel like they're very solid staples and by really slimming down their product line, it takes a lot of the guesswork out for you. So you don't have to think like, oh, this moisturizer says it's for like normal combination. This one says for normal dry. This one's for like, it just simplifies it. And there's like this, there is a cleanser. Like it's very, very simple skincare. And I really, really like that because I think it's very effective. And I would highly suggest this if you need some extra moisture or if you have skin that gets irritated, I think this is great. Also, I realized I haven't said yet in this video, I do have dry skin. Um, in the past year, we moved from California to Utah and my skin that was like normal combination dry is definitely dry. And being out here because it is a desert climate, my skin gets impacted by the moisture a lot quicker than it did in California. So like if I don't drink enough water one day, I'm feeling it on my skin for the next couple of days. So it's really forced me to be really more aware of what products truly make a difference in my skin. And that has been a struggle, but it's been a good one. Like I found a lot of things that take, it's like I've had to readjust to some products again, and it takes a little more time to adjust to using them. And I found some that I used to like that just don't work for me anymore, which is always kind of a bummer. And then a lot that still really do. Um, from 100% Pure, this was their Restorative Sea Culture Replenishing Serum. So this is one that I used to love and it does not work for me anymore. This actually made me break out, which is super weird for me. I don't usually have that issue with a lot of skincare that I try, especially stuff that is made for dry skin like this. And I don't know what it is about this, but it, yeah, I, I made me break out. Um, so I didn't even finish it because that just wasn't worth it to me. Once I realized it was this product, I just decided to stop using it and my skin immediately cleared up. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what in here it would have been. 100% Pure has really, really solid skincare. I feel like they're one of those brands that I trust them completely with skincare. Their stuff is so good. It's so high quality. It's very effective. And so it's very odd for me to have a reaction to their skincare. I never have before. And this, again, in California, this worked great for me. I opened a new tube out here and it just wasn't meshing with my skin anymore. From Osea, this is their C serum hyaluronic i already said serum their hyaluronic c serum this stuff is amazing they basically keep me fully stocked in this which i appreciate so much and i am a part of their affiliate program so if you guys use the link for this product or a lot of the links down below in the description box what that means is i do get a small percentage of that sale and i really appreciate when you guys use them because it's what keeps logical harmony running so i can keep putting out content all around cruelty free beauty so thank you if you use them thank you i appreciate it this stuff is amazing i think everyone needs this hyaluronic is one of those products that i think is very like underrated, not necessarily underrated, but I feel like not enough people use it. And it's a product that I think some people think can be finicky, but you really just need to stick with it and it makes a huge difference in your skin. Like it made a huge, huge difference in my skin. When I don't have this, I notice the difference immediately. I use this morning and night. 
I have for a long time when I run out and I don't have a backup right away, or let's say I'm traveling and I didn't have space to bring it with me, then I notice a huge difference in my skin and I just, I love this stuff so much. I cannot recommend it enough. Hyaluronic is really great for helping just your skin retain moisture. Um, and I've heard some people say that it causes their skin to be more dry. So I kind of did some research on that. And um, what I read is that you really first and foremost need to make sure you're drinking enough water. And that's like the most important thing with hyaluronic acid that a lot of people think it means that it will like bring in moisture from the air around you. And I'm sure maybe to a degree that's true, but it's ultimately about locking in the moisture you put in your body. So that's my PSA, that's my lecture. Um, from Schmitz Naturals, this is their Sage and Vetiver deodorant. This stuff is so good. Their new sensitive skin formula I feel like is better. I don't know if it changed from their last sensitive skin formula, but these new scents are a lot gentler and more effective in my opinion. And maybe it's just because it's a different scent. I do find that with natural deodorants, I need to change scents often because they kind of stop working and then I switch, I go to a different scent for a week or two, it's working better and then I can come back to this or whatever. This one I really, really liked. Currently I'm using their patchouli and hop scent, which I love. I'm from Oregon, so patchouli and hops are Therefore, like two of my favorite scents. Um, but this one I also really, really liked. It's very earthy, it's herbal, and it works good. Okay, from Dr. Robux, this was their No Worry Hydrating Face Moisturizer. So a couple months ago, they sent me like basically enough products to do a full skincare routine. I used them all up. I really, really enjoyed them. I think they were really solid products. Um, I really liked them. I wish I had refills of them, but I'm trying not to purchase as many products this year either and really focus on using what I have. Um, so for that reason, I'm not picking this up, but I might eventually because I really liked it. This does have hyaluronic acid in it, it has vitamin E. This was like your classic everyday moisturizer, but stepped up a notch. Um, so I found that it was very gentle. I think this would work for all skin types. It was just a good, solid moisturizer. I could use it morning, I could use it night, I could layer it with other products. It worked well with everything, it wore well under makeup. This was just like a good, a good staple to have in your beauty routine. I think that's a good way to put it. Um, yeah, I really, really liked their products. They're almost completely vegan too, but I, loved that one. I also really liked their um, copper peptide serum. That was super good. Like what else? Their foaming cleanser is pretty nice too. It's a little bit drying for me right now, but I feel like overall their line is very nice and very solid. Um, also from Crave Beauty, this is the Beach Shield, which is their version of an SPF. Um, I feel like they don't necessarily call it an SPF, but it is like the last step of your skincare routine. It does have sun protection benefits in it. And it's just very, very thin and very lightweight. Now, a lot of SPF products are thicker. I was looking for the one I use most often, which is from Awake Beauty. And it's a thicker texture, which I like because I have dry skin. It makes me feel like it's locking in my moisture throughout the day. This one is very, very lightweight. It's very thin. It does not feel heavy. It does not feel greasy. And I think that makes it a lot better suited for most people because no matter what your skin type, this is going to work for you and you need to be wearing your SPF every day. So this just makes it super easy to do it and not worry about if your skin is going to turn into an oil slick halfway throughout the day, or if your foundation is not going to play nicely with it. Like it's good. It's good. I highly suggest it. Um, this was just to remind me to talk about my preserve razors. I've been using preserve razors for a long time. They're made from recycled plastic and I use their five blade, which I really like. Bless you. Um, I do bless you. I would like to find a more sustainable razor option this year. I know Rian just picked up one where it's like a safety razor. I think I had a really terrifying experience with one of those when I was a kid. Um, so I've been very, anxious about using them. Um, I This is a gross story, but when I was younger, I tried using one and I pressed too hard and like literally shaved like skin off of my leg. Like it was, I did not realize the power of those razors. I'll just put it that way. Um, so yeah, I've been nervous to use one, but I know it is a lot less wasteful. And so I'm interested in trying them out. I feel like if you are in that boat where you want to start doing better, Preserve is a really good option to try out. Um, they also have a program where you can send back like your old toothbrushes and other Preserve products and they keep recycling them. And so I think that's really cool and that's really great, but 
check out Preserve if you're looking for a good cruelty-free razor. I have a couple lip balms here from Franklin and Whitman that I was about to use up and then they repackaged so they sent me some new ones. And so these just kind of went on the back burner and then I just felt like I didn't know if they were still good, but I really like their lip balms. They have one in the Mount Airy scent, which is my all-time favorite scent from Franklin and Whitman. It smells like an Earl Grey latte. Like, oh, it's the, it's the yummiest scent. I wish they made everything in it. Like, oh my gosh, Franklin and Whitman, if you made your sea salt hair mist in Mount Airy, that would be amazing. I don't know what these hand gestures are. They're my please do it. Please do it. Um, I am an affiliate with Franklin and Whitman and I do have a 20% off discount code. I'll put that down below because I honestly can't remember if it's Tashina or Logical Harmony. Um, they're also really cool because every month they donate to animal charities and I love that about them. They're just a really good company and I love their products. Their lip balms are great. They are in tubs. I know that grosses some people out, but you can use a brush with them or just don't share them or wash your hands or whatever, or don't buy them, whatever you want to do. But the new tubs, I actually have one right here. Um, the new tubs are these little metal guys and I really love that because I love that I mean, they're cute, but they're also very easy to reuse once you're done with the lip balm. And I like to use these when I do reuse them, I use them when I travel to store like jewelry in or other little small things. And I think they're, they're pretty helpful. And I always love when brands have packaging that you can reuse. And most Franklin Whitman stuff, actually I think like all of it comes in glass bottles, which is super good. And I believe they also have a program where you can send them back and you get a discount on future purchases, which is super cool. Now that I've talked forever about that from Tarte, this is their drink of H2O hydrating boost. This was a little sample that I got, I think with like my Sephora or Ulta purchase. I love it. They've since sent me a full size of it. It's really, really nice. I think that Tarte skincare is really good. I think it's underrated. Um, this is kind of similar, I would say in a way to like a hyaluronic product. I'm honestly not sure what the active ingredients in it are. And since this is a sample, it doesn't really tell me anything, but I enjoy it. I do find that it helps my skin retain moisture better. It is a gel consistency. So it's very, very light. It absorbs quickly. I'm into it. From Sol de Janeiro, this is their hand cream. I like it. It's not my favorite hand cream. It smells super good, but it could be a bit more moisturizing and I just need something that's more moisturizing. And so I found myself like applying this and reapplying it and reapplying it. And when I was in California, this stuff was great. It was super moisturizing. I loved it. But here in Utah, it's just not enough. Um, so I probably won't pick it up again. I really like the Derma E hand cream. I think that one's really good. Um, I also really like the one from Osea. I've gone through, no joke, in the past month, I've gone through half a bottle of their hand cream because it's so freaking dry out here. Like, I feel like you just literally cannot drink enough water out here in Utah and my body's still adjusting even though it's been like nine months. So I don't know. From Osea, this is their C Vitamin Boost. This stuff is also really good. All of Osea's products are amazing. I'm just gonna say that. Um, I've really, really enjoyed all of them and I highly recommend all of them. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. Like everything I've tried from Osea, I thought has been a very, very good, solid product that I really saw benefits from and this is no exception. So they do have a couple different toners. This one is my favorite because it is better suited for dry skin. And I feel like it just balances out my skin differently than other toners do. So yeah, that's that's basically all I have to say about that. Um, it was really nice in the summer. I kept this in my skincare fridge and then applied it when it was cold. And I would put it like out on my bedside table at night. Well, it's technically a windowsill. And I would just spray it on my face if I woke up throughout the night. And it really helped to soothe my skin in the summer and going into winter as well. From Crave Beauty, this is their Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. Like the other products I've talked about, this is just a very solid staple. It is a gel cleanser and a lot of those tend to be drying on my skin. This one was not. For me, it wasn't necessarily hydrating, but it was not irritating and it was just like a good solid cleanser I knew was going to work. It was very balancing for my skin. Um, it didn't leave it too dry. It didn't leave it oily. It didn't leave residue on my skin. It was just like, a good, a good solid product. And I feel like that's what the Crave Beauty line is all about, is very solid products that are going to work for everyone. So I highly suggest it. Um, it was in my 2019 skincare favorites. So was uh, quite a few of these actually. And so 
to me that kind of says it. Um, I do have another one of these in my shower right now and I like to use this at, or the Lush Naked Cleansers. That's what I'm using right now the most and the two pair really well together. Like sometimes I'll first do like my oil cleanse with either the Franklin & Whitman cleanser or Lush Sleepy Face and then I'll either use a Lush Solid cleanser like Movis um, or Jade Roller or I'll use the Crave Beauty one after and it just removes everything. My skin feels nice. It feels refreshed. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel gross. It doesn't feel irritated. Just good solid products. So those are my skincare empties. Let me know what you guys have used up recently that you've enjoyed the most. If you've used any of these, share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get chatty. Let's get geeky about skincare and I'll see you next time.